A former state worker says Maui representative Joe Suki sexually harassed her. She says she felt powerless to do anything about it until now. But as Elisa Arevalo tells us, Suki's attorney says this is a case of misinterpretation. Elisa. Marissa, the woman who filed the complaint is the former director of the Department of Human Services. Suki's attorney questions why the woman is now coming forward three years later. Rachel Wong is the woman who filed the complaint with the State Ethics Commission. In a statement, she tells me, I finally reached a point where I could no longer not say or do anything. Wong did not want to comment on the events surrounding the complaint, but says, in the moment and during my tenure with the state, I felt powerless to do anything due to the risk of retaliation. We spoke with Representative Suki's attorney, Michael Green, who also declined to go into detail about the complaint, but says it involved a comment and a kiss. He got up and, and said, aren't I, aren't I blank? And it's not like, you know, aren't I macho or aren't I, don't I look like I'm set? It's just a comment that came out of his mouth. And you'll hear it when we go in front of the State Ethics Commission. And then he kissed, I think she wanted to shake his hand, he kissed her cheek. Green says no police report was ever filed and another female lawmaker was in the room. I came to the Ethics Commission to get a copy of that complaint, but I was told they can't even confirm or deny if a complaint was filed. What can you tell us about that complaint? Well, any time a complaint is filed with the State Ethics Commission, it's treated confidentially and it's investigated confidentially. I'm told once a complaint is received, the commission holds a hearing to determine if there is sufficient cause to refer the matter to the House, which decides if any disciplinary action is taken. Now we're told the complaint will be public record once the commission is finished with their investigation and a recommendation for action is made. We'll let you know when that happens. Howard. Lisa, thank you. In a statement, House Speaker Scott Psyche said the House of Representatives takes matters of workplace harassment very seriously. He also added the House has to do a mandatory annual training program. And Governor Ige said, I trust that the Ethics Commission will do its job and conduct a fair and thorough investigation of the complaint.